the thing I, I don't like about telly is you're not in control, whereas on radio, you are in control. There's only you and a microphone, and yes, there's an engineer next door twiddling the knobs about, but that's it. Whereas on telly, you are just part of this huge team, most of whom you don't know, actually. They're, they're cameramen, they're sound men, they're, they're goodness knows what else they are, sitting in trucks, they're all over the place. And there's you dangling on the end of a string. And so that, that's one reason really why I just never really connected with with TV, but also speaking to time, which we do all the time as broadcasters. Of course, I do it on the radio all the time. Hmm. You to, but you've got a stopwatch in your hand. So if you're told to speak for 43 seconds or however long it may be, yeah, yeah you've got to get used to it. You've got to have a knack to it. But you can see the hand going round in the clock, and, and that's, that's it. But on the telly, it's this voice in your ear that counts down from 59... 58, 57, and it's awful. It's earpiece. And you've got all the other noise in there as well. Directors shouting at the producer. You've got cameramen. You've got someone asking someone to cup of tea. All of that while this robotic voice counts down to naught, at which point you're looking at the camera. You've got no script, and you say goodbye. And I knew I couldn't do it. And the, and the first game, actually, in the World Cup in 99, I was working with Richie, and I had to present the whole of the World Cup for BBC. And I had a go at it, and I and I missed I missed that naught by about I don't know a second or something, which doesn't sound very much, but it would have looked awful. I sat I sat back there, very crestfallen, as the music played, you know, and the credits rolled, and Richie waited, and he said, uh, "That didn't go very well, Jonathan, did it?" And I said, "No, no, Richie, it, it didn't." And I said, "I've got a real problem. You know, I just don't know how I'm going to do this. We've got six weeks of it." And Richie said, "Don't worry." He said, "Don't worry." He said, "How long do you think you need to say goodbye?" So I counted up and I thought seven seconds I said I said well fine tomorrow he said uh, as soon as the count starts ask me a question and I'll talk to eight and I said are you serious he said yeah of course so the next day we're at Birmingham I think it was and sure enough 59 58 and I said to Richie I said uh, oh, brilliant innings that by Enzo well Hutt wasn't it there Richie and he talked to eight and he stopped and so I look at Richie I say thanks Richie that's terrific look at the camera so there we go. Thanks to Richie. Well done, Pakistan, today. They go to the top of the table. Tomorrow, Richie and I are off to Old Trafford. It's England against West Indies. We're on air at 10.30. See you then. Goodbye. Zero. And that's how I got through six weeks of presenting the World Cup, because Richie <laughs> Richie just counted down to eight every time and left me seven seconds to say goodbye. The BBC bosses thought I was great.